and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and this one is another Loosen Up with Aquamedia painting assignment. Okay, and this one, as I like to say, four years of art school, all done in five days. But this one is one of my other favorite assignments that we do. This is day three. This is the Loosen Up Landscapes. We make it all up, so we mostly um, focus on compositions. There's lots of different compositions. I'm going to show you the four that I seem to favor an awful lot of. Here they are. And we'll just look at it in black and white at this point. So the first one, here we call it asymmetrical, asymmetrical off balance. So we have a whole lot of stuff going on over here and one little thing over here and that kind of ends up being the focal point because it's all by itself. And I'll do it in different formats. Here's another one, very loose, just black and white, lots of stuff going on. And look where your eye goes, all, all over there. To the, we even have it in color, ooh, this is in color. Then the next composition is called, it's pretty obvious almost, it's tunnel vision. Go right down that tunnel vision. And I have variations of, of those, just like you're in the middle of a stream or in the roadway, and you're looking down, you, uh, you can't help it but go to one spot, one focal point, that's important. Okay, tunnel vision. Here I'm on like a lake in the bottom of the Grand Canyon or something like that. Wouldn't that be nice? So I can, I make it all up by the way. I just keep on painting, but I still stay focused on the composition. Same thing, here we are in color. Let's go to the third composition. Oh, this is another one. This is like a peaceful one. It can be peaceful, I guess, where everything happens on the horizon line. Everything's kind of quiet. You can have pretty dramatic skies, pretty dramatic skies. And you have a lot of stuff going on, but look where your eye goes. It goes to the horizon line. And it's usually the part that has the most different, okay? Whether it's in, in black and white or even in color. Let's go back up here. Uh, our good friend, the golden section. You know, the tic-tac-toe one where we divide it and one third, one third, one third this way. One third, one third, and then one third, one tic-tac-toe. And where those lines intersect, one of those will be the focal point. Eh, I'm not making this stuff up. It's just aesthetically pleasing to put the focal point in one of those spots, one of those spots. And so I decided that's where it's gonna be. Boom. And so, again, here's one more abstract, even more abstract, still f focusing on those four compositions. There are many more, as I'd like to say, many more. These are the four that I like to use, really strong. Let me show you one of my favorites, which is asymmetrical. I'm gonna do that one right now. So here's the composition that I like to do a lot. A lot of something over here and one little thing over here. So always start off with a mid-tone. See, I have a mid-tone. I'm halfway done. All I have to do is put in the darkest darks and the lightest lights. And that's how I work. Let me show you. So this is a watercolor, 300 pound watercolor paper, already been gessoed on one side. I make a mark on the back side so I know which side's been gessoed. Mm. All right, so the mid-tone. I have my black already on the table. This happens to be Mars black. I have my titanium white, okay. With a paper towel, I'm gonna put in a mid-tone. There we go. So there's my mid-tone. I've been asked, how do I know it's a mid-tone? Well, I put those two colors in there. Now I have three values. I know that's the mid-tone, that's the darkest dark, that's the lightest light. That's the quickest way of finding out. Now this is not rocket science, but I am gonna be working strictly with this composition, asymmetrical. This is where I get to dance all over the place. Have a great time. I have no idea how this is going to be. Put the focal point right there you are, right off the bat. Now 
See, I, I get the graphics down first. Let's do some wiping away. Whoa, wiping away, that's nice. Instead of putting white in, I can wipe some of this paint away because it's still fresh to get my lighter color. Or I could put white in. Right now I like this wiping away. It has a nice effect. Again, I'm just getting the graphics down first. Make sure they're really strong. There we go. We have a whole lot of something going on over here. Ooh, drawing, I like drawing. See, it's still wet, so I can come back in here and draw, which I like to do so much. It's great using my fingernail. And then come back and wiping some of it away. Oh, I like some of that. It's nice. I want to uh, convey the excitement of drawing this particular place. Powerful. Nice. So, all right. There you go. So it's just another way I like to play on small pieces of the eight by 10 watercolor paper before I work on the much bigger ones. So I make sure I practice and stretch and practice a lot in black and white first. Now I'm gonna show you how I do it in color. So I just showed you the four compositions that I like to use. They're plenty more. Remember, these are abstracts. Abstract. I call them my ethereal landscapes. I just keep painting until it looks good and falls into one of those four compositions. Now those were the black and whites. What I'm going to be doing now is color. Yay, color. And I, oh, surprise, I'm going to be using my own color wheel, which means this is the dominant color, this blue. It's called dominant color. It says so right there on the color wheel. The color across from there is going to be my focal point color. So mostly the, the whole painting is going to be mostly that blue. Somewhere I'm going to put a focal point that will be that color. Bam, your eyes going to go right to it. Now in case you miss it, these other two colors, I call them my spice colors. A little bit of this one around here and a little bit of this color around here. Bam, that's my color wheel. Remember, abstract. And uh, this one will be uh, everything happens on the horizon line. That's the composition. Let me get started. Remember, this is day three of my Loosen Up with Aquamedia painting workshops. So we're doing the landscapes today. So here's my color. Here's my dominant color. I'm using my color wheel. Here we go. Dominant color. The focal point color is going to be this marigold color. I'm going to put it over here. It says so right there on the color wheel. The other two colors, this light green, I'm gonna put that over there. And this hot pinkish color, really primary magenta. There you go. And I have some other colors out here, but we'll stick with those. Oh, gotta come in here with my opera, which is my hot pink, fluorescent pink. I like to add that color to all the other colors. It just kind of kicks it up. I have my black, my Mars black, and my titanium white ready to go. All right, so this one again, Dominant color is going to be that blue. I can do this with a paper towel or a brush. Dominant color. <laughs> there we go. Can't miss that one. What a great blue. And this is where I might add in some of that opera. Kind of 
gives it some personality a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, look at this. So it's not just this one color of, of blue. I'm adding some white to it. Very dramatic sky. Again, I just keep painting until it looks good. I come in now with a little bit of this blue, this magenta. Whoa, it's a low horizon line. This is, there we go. Add some, some white in here. Wow, it's pretty dramatic. Look where your eye goes, right? The eye usually goes to the part of the painting that has the most drama, most different. In this case, I'm gonna bring in some color. Pretty dramatic at this point, right? So your eye still goes to this point. So dominant color is blue, marigold. Whoa, look how your eye goes right to that. I need some white to it. Makes it more opaque. Whoa, almost like waves coming to shore. I paint places I like to go. <laughs> I can't go there right now, so I'll paint it. There we go. There we go. So look at your focal point. Can't miss it. There you are. Doesn't need to be a big area. The focal point is anything that, that is a little bit different from everything else. It stands by itself, the focal point. So in case you missed it, Come in here with that green. Green's one of the uh, spice colors. Doesn't have to be exactly that green. That's kind of important. Yeah, there we go. And it augments it. It augments it. A little green and also a little bit of that pink, that magenta. That's on the color wheel. Again, we put it close to, oh, just a little bit. Oh, nice. I like that. So this is very peaceful, quiet painting in the Caribbean. The moon's coming up, you can almost feel it. Working with the color wheel and the composition, of course, is everything happens on the horizon line. Pretty quiet and peaceful. Not a bad place to go, too. Hey, thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next Bob Blast.